public revenue mobilization for inclusive development work stream, we cover mostly tax issues. So we look at how the tax system helps to promote economic growth, how it helps to promote employment, and how we can generate potentially more revenues to have higher levels of social expenditure. Hopefully this will lead to lower levels of poverty, lower levels of inequality, and create a more robust democracy. In phase one, uh, all the work streams that use the tax data invested heavily in preparing the data set, curating the data set for research work, and we are going, going to continue that. So we want to uh, collaborate closely with the tax authority to understand how different processes, different enforcement interventions impact taxpayer compliance, impact how much revenue ZARS collects. And we think that this empirical evidence that we get out of that can be a very solid basis for ZARS to review their enforcement processes and strategies and to see whether there's potentially some room for improvement. The changes from phase one in this program, I think are going to be focused on trying to expand the available use of data. The initial program used basically the low level or the low hanging fruit in terms of what was available. Here we're trying to get into a bit more difficult data, but there could be more insights from that data. So uh, in, in phase two, the tax work stream uh, really wants to explore how much we can, we can help SARS and of course the tax policy unit in tax administration. So there are various issues there. So one is related to, um, to what happens to firms and taxpayers after they have been audited. There can be spillover effects among these their networks. So that's something that we would like to do by basically some sort of cost-benefit analysis about um, audits and other enforcement interventions. Then we would like to also uh, uh, do quite some work on international tax. There's been quite a bit of effort in the international tax environment to try to limit uh, international tax avoidance and invasion by multinational companies. So there have been various policy measures that have been undertaken and we would like to follow up what has happened after these policies have been implemented. In the second phase, I think we want to look at more of the impacts of particular policies in terms of have they been more successful or not. And you really have to be quite nuanced in how you look at this type of data. We've also got a bit more of a time series with this data, so there's more data available over time. And we can see whether those changes in policies are having uh, an extended or dynamic impact or not, if they, if they weren't just once off. So there should be some you know, deeper insights that hopefully we can look into with the second phase.